Yum, yum! Hello everyone, Steve White here for Pixel Fondue. In this video I thought we'd take a look at uh, exploding your mesh for use in normal map, map baking in Modo. Uh, what I have here is basically as I have a, uh, a simple little dumpster model that I'm going to be using for Unreal Engine. And um, I have basically the uh, what I'm calling the low res version, which is what you see here. And then I've duplicated that low res version and um, applied the rounded edge shader uh, to my duplicate and I'm calling that my high res. So basically, um, you know, we're not doing any uh, high resolution sculpting here. We're basically just uh, using the rounded edge shader uh, to give us nice rounded edges on here. So if, we, if I pull up preview here um, and do a little render here and we zoom in and we look at our edges here, uh, you can see we're getting, uh, you know, some nice, you know, nice highlighting, um, you know, on all of our edges and that's from the rounded edge shader. Uh, and we want to bake that down to our low resolution mesh. Okay, so uh, let's, uh, what we need to do first is, uh, for one thing, for your low resolution mesh, uh, you want to make sure that you have a UV map, and I've already had, went ahead and set that up here, so I have my UV map for my low. Um, the other thing is, um, the other thing I've done is I've come over here to my game tools, and I've gone ahead and taken care of all my vertex normals, so anywhere you want uh, any smoothing splits, uh, you know, hard, jet, hard edges or anything like that, uh, you define that in here. Uh, for you know doing your UV layout, um, the the one hard rule about uh, doing um, hard edges is anywhere that you have a smoothing split, anywhere where you know you're uh, you're getting a hard edge along something, uh, you're going to want to have a UV split there. So you know you want to make sure those are separated in the UV map. Um, I've also went ahead and created Mctangent, uh, which is what uh, Unreal Engine uses. Uh, so, and you can see those down here in my uh, other maps down here. You can see I have my tangent basis map and my vertex normals. Okay, so um, so now we need to actually talk about separating the mesh here. So, um, uh, if we don't separate all of these parts out, um, you know, like the lids here and the wheels, um, you know, you're going to get all sorts of uh, normal map baking errors. Um, you know, by these meshes sitting uh, along those, those details are going to be projected onto your, you know, to these, you know, coinciding meshes. So uh, we need to separate these. So uh, we're going to do that through a morph map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select both my high and low resolution meshes here. And I'm going to come down to my lists here. And I'm going to go to my morph map. And I've already created a, a map here. I'm going to actually go ahead and delete that. We're going to just go ahead and restart this here. So I'm going to go ahead and click New Map, and we'll just call this Dumpster Explode. And we'll click OK. And the way we separate these meshes is uh, um, we need to, uh, let's come up here to our Action Center. Let's change this to Local. I'm going to turn off Snapping for the moment. And then I'm just going to activate the Move tool and just start moving these apart. And you can see the local action center is just allowing everything to move, um, you know, in its own space. So uh, now there's a few things that aren't separating very well, like uh, these lids are still sitting right next to each other, um, and uh, this side piece here. So we need to separate these manually. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I select both of those. That's my high res and low res part um, that are together there. Uh, just make sure you're getting those at the same time. Uh, same thing with the lids here. I'll just go ahead and select those. And I'll go ahead and move this one down and just make sure that everything is uh, sitting apart from each other. Uh, these parts here are a little close in the back. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, you know, move these back down here somewhere. Okay, so everything is separated. Uh, now, the one thing that you might uh, think that this is uh, good to bake, this is uh, not yet ready to bake, so um, let me uh, explain why here. If I open up Preview Render and we do a render, uh, you can see as far as Moto is concerned, those things are still sitting together. So um, even though uh, you know, you've, uh, you've made your morph map, uh, these things aren't, uh, aren't moving apart. And the reason for that is they, they need a morph influence on the meshes themselves. So um, I'm going to separate, I'm going to yeah, separate, select um, rather, um, first my high res. I'm going to go down here to, to my morph map, right click on this and just say add morph influence. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same for my low. Just uh, select my low, come down here to the morph map, right click and say add morph influence. Now if we do a render again, you can see now our, our meshes are actually separated. 
Okay, so now uh, we're pretty much ready to bake. Now I noticed um, everything looks like it's staying together, but these uh, the dumpster body for some reason has moved apart in here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and separate or uh, select both my items again. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. And I'm going to come over to polygon mode. I'm going to select this bottom dumpster body. Uh, I'm going to enable snapping. Uh, change my action center to automatic and and then I'm going to right click down here in the bottom corner and just snap this together. I just You just want to make sure that those meshes, uh, the high and the low, are sitting right on top of each other uh, for the bake to work out. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, we're pretty much ready to bake. So I'm going to go ahead and select my low res mesh, make sure that my uh, UV map is selected um, here in the UV list, and let's go to our games tools tab. And we'll go to baking, and I'm going to choose my baking wizard. Okay, and so for the uh, for our base file name and new target material, uh, we're just going to leave those to bake. Um, that will that will put the uh, that bake uh, material over here in the shader tree when it's done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bake out a 4K map. It's 4096 by 4096, and um, leave everything pretty much at its default. Um, if you have your uh, if your normal map preferences, um, you can set those over here in the game tools uh, for our normal map presets. Uh, but I've already gone ahead and done that. Like I said, I'm using the make tangent base uh, normals, and uh, everything else looks good. Um, we want to make sure yes, our uh, UV map is dumpster, and that's good. let's go to next. And then for our meshes here, uh, we want to make sure that our low resolution mesh is the target. And then our dumpster high is the source. Okay, and so we'll click on next. Uh, we'll just skip the uh, the render tree portion here, and uh, just make sure that uh, you know there is a normal map um, that it's going to bake here. Um, I have my per, per pixel tan bit tangent um, and invert green selected, and I'll just go ahead and bake our map. All right, I'll go ahead and let that bake out, and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we can see that Moto's finished baking the normal map. So I'll go ahead and close that. Uh, let's go to our shader tree, and you can see that, um, actually I did this a couple times, but uh, you can see uh, it's got this new entry in here called Bake, and the baking uh, map that we just made is right here. Uh, so now let's come into our item tree, and let's go to the, uh, to the dumpster uh, uh, morph influences there and come down to Morph Influence, and we'll just turn those to zero for both of those. And now our mesh will be back together again. And if we uh, look at our low, and the high is disabled now, uh, if we come in here, you can see now that those, uh, those uh, you know, rounded edges are now baked into our, our normal map. Okay, so if we run a render here, uh, this is our low resolution mesh, and you can see that we now have uh, very nice rounded edges uh, baked into our map, uh, which will be, uh, you know, which one I will now take into Substance Painter and then ultimately Unreal Engine. Yum, yum!